Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to be going back to Excel to do an exercise on scatter plots. So we're going to show you how to make a scatter plot like this one over here, uh, which shows you the sales versus the profit, so you can see the relationship of sales to profit. So we have the table here, and I'll give you guys a second to think about how you would create it, and then I'll come back and show you guys how I did it. All right, I'm back. So. Here I'm going to select this table here, control shift over, then control shift down. Uh, then I'm going to scroll up so when it creates a scatter plot it'll be up here and it's easy to compare it to that. And then I'm going to go to the insert tab where we have all of our charting options. And oddly enough I'm going to choose scatter and I'm going to do the one without markers, the first one here. So we've got all of our blue dots of the points. Uh, we have the legend here which we don't really need. Uh, so we'll just select that and delete it. And then we'll go to the layout here. Uh, we'll change the title first. I'll just call it Sales versus Profit. I'll put in the access labels. Uh, so the horizontal I'll put below. And we'll select that and put that as Sales. This is uh, Sales as is increasing to the right. And then we'll put in the axis label on the vertical, we'll rotate it, and we'll put in profit. That's what's showing there on the vertical axis. And then so we have this trend line so we can see how it trends versus the two variables. So we're just going to select the data. We're going to right click. We're going to add trend line. So you've got these options. Uh, the most likely one you're going to choose is linear. Uh, but there could also be a logarithmic relationship, uh, polynomial or moving average. And then at the bottom here you can see you can display the equation and the R squared. See the equation tells you how the two uh, variables are related to each other in this uh, view. So you can see uh, it's a negative relationship so for each dollar of sales it actually contributes uh, negative 15 cents of profit and then this intercept just tells you what would the uh, profit be if there were zero sales which doesn't make sense in this case so the intercept generally should be zero you, act, you should have zero profit when there's zero sales and you could force it to do that in the previous uh, screen if you wanted to and then the R squared tells you how good of a fit it is so in this case how far off are the points in relationship to the line. Uh, the closer you are to one, uh, the closer the points will be to the line. All right, so as we look at this, it's kind of odd that as we increase sales, we actually decrease profit. So we might think that these are actually outliers that need to be removed from the data. So if we wanted to do that, we could just go back to this table, go to data, choose sort here, uh, and then by profit we'll sort from smallest to largest and then you can see uh, these two points here are the points that are these two and we could just delete these and then it'll auto update the graph here and you can see once we delete those it becomes a positive relationship between sales and profit which logically we think uh, it would be the case. All right. So if you believe that's a good relationship, then you can use that in any modeling you do to estimate the amount of profit that you might have on any sale. All right, hope you guys were able to follow along with this exercise on how to create a simple scatter plot, and you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.